Guys, I've had to do this take like 10 times because my mouth is literally on fire. But I can't even get like two sentences out without needing to drink. <laughs> what is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am here in Peoria, Arizona to try Mochilero Kitchen, which is a Spanish inspired restaurant here on the west side of the Phoenix Valley. They have some amazing looking food and I am excited to try it. So let's go on in and see what they have. Okay guys, so we are here inside Mochilero Kitchen and it is really cute. It's actually a pretty small restaurant. They do have indoor seating and a small patio, so it's not a very big patio, but the decor is really cool. It has like an etched map on, as the tables and they have these kind of like Spanish inspired chairs and just really cool looking um, tiling on the bar and just a very neat atmosphere. Um, so let me show you the menu and we'll see what we're gonna get for lunch. Okay guys, so we are gonna try out all the tacos. So let's, okay, so this one is the, I think the Creekstone Beef Asada Taco. And it looks so good. These are really, like, really big tacos. It's actually about $5.50 per taco, but they're pretty big and I'm getting sauce all over the place. And it's an interesting tortilla. It's not your standard flour tortilla. They use something that makes it black, which is kind of cool. So here's what it looks like. And this one comes with marinated skirt steak, green bulb onion, guacamole, and salsa. So let's try this out. Try and figure out which side to eat from without making a total mess. Mmm. Mm. Wow. That one's really good. The salsa is very spicy though. Make sure you have a drink. Mm. The skirt steak is really cooked very tender. Very good. Okay, so the next one we have is, hold on, my mouth's still on fire. So the next one is the Shrimp Diablo. It has Diablo chili sauce, red cabbage, pickled corn, shishito relish, and avocado crema. Let me show you what it looks like. Okay. Mm. Mm. That one is really good. It's not nearly as spicy as the first one, thank God. <laughs> I like spice, but my eyes are literally tearing from that first taco and I've had like four glasses of water from it. This shrimp one's really good. I actually really enjoy that they put the cabbage slaw on here. It kind of creates a crunch and the cilantro is really fresh. This one's really good. And it's not nearly as spicy as I thought it sounded. <laughs> 
So that's always a nice plus. Okay guys, so the next one looks really good. This one is just the Baja fish taco and it's beer battered rock fish, cabbage, red onion slaw, and ahi, aji, I have no idea how to pronounce this. Aji Amarillo. Sorry, I'm totally butchering that, I think. Look at how beautiful this taco looks, though. The fish is golden and looks perfectly cooked. Let's try this out. Mmm. That's good. It has like a mayonnaise-y taste, but it's kind of like a fish stick in a taco. <laughs> and it's nice and mild, so if you don't like spice, this doesn't have a lot of spice to it. Let me show you guys the inside of this fish. Is that not perfectly cooked or what? Mm -hmm. This one is the pork carnitas. It has grilled and confit pork shoulder, salsa torriado, seasonal citrus, and cilantro. So let me show you what it looks like. Oops. See how this is. Mm. That pork is delicious. Super tender. I don't know what salsa torriado is. If it's like, it tastes almost like salsa verde. It's some kind of a green salsa. Um, let me know in the comments below if you know what that is. This one's really good though. The sauce is really good. And the pork shoulder is cooked perfectly. This well, one is the one I was looking forward to. It's the um, Papa Brava, which is a potato taco. So, it's actually the reason I came here. It has Yukon potatoes, pepper jack cheese, cabbage, salsa roja, and crema. It looks delicious. And this one actually has the, a traditional shell on it. Thank you. So let's see which end. I never know which end to bite from. Mmm. -hmm. Thank you. Look how creamy the potato is. It's a little bit less traditional, but the potato is really good. And it's a really good like vegetarian option. The potato is nice and soft and seasoned well, and the cheese and the, um, the coleslaw. or the cabbage mixes really well together so this one is the roasted mushroom taco which sounds really interesting so it's a corn tortilla with grilled oaxaca cheese i might be saying that wrong i'm really sorry that i'm butchering these names um roasted poblanos and pepitas i don't know what that is but it looks good it also looks a little messy. I'm a little scared of the sauce, not gonna lie. Hopefully it's not crazy spicy. Let's go from this end. I'm getting sauce all over, guys. 
Good thing I wore a red shirt so the red sauce I'm dripping everywhere doesn't stand out. Mmm. <laughs> that one is super flavorful. That one is surprisingly good, actually. The vegetarian ones, I wasn't sure were gonna be as good, but this one like punches you with flavor. Mm. It's just a little messy, but the flavor is on point. Mm. Okay, so this one is the short rib barbacoa, which has watermelon radish, cabbage slaw, and onion. Show you what it looks like. Let's do this end. This one looks so good. And I love barbacoa. That one's amazing. 10 out of 10. Mm. Wow. The meat is tender and so perfectly marinated. And I've never had watermelon radish, but it looks pretty. just adds a nice pop of color and I'm one of those people I eat with my eyes first I don't know if you guys are like that too but if something looks good it always makes it more appetizing and tastes better in my opinion I mean even if this didn't look good this one is delicious this one I think is my favorite one mm. okay guys last one this one is the chicken tinga and it has adobo chicken, poblano, onion, cotija cheese, and cilantro. And the onion looks pickled. So this one's beautiful. Here's the here's what it looks like. It looks so good. really good too. The onion is pickled which adds a little bit of like vinegar tasting to it and it matches nicely with the chicken. It is marinated shredded chicken. So I've never actually had adobo chicken before but now I know that I like it. <laughs> My overall thoughts, this place is phenomenal. If you are in the West Valley area in Phoenix, I would highly recommend coming here. Um, because it is a small restaurant, it probably does get busy during like, you know, dinner time, like rush hours. Um, and the patio is really small. So if you are gonna come here, I'd say maybe try and shoot for off hours or just be prepared to wait or have it be a little bit busy. But I honestly, I wanna come back and try like everything on the menu, it was that good. I got every taco they had. I honestly wanna just come back and do like every other item because I am 110% positive that it's gonna be just as good as the tacos were. I would highly recommend making this a stop if you come out here. Okay guys, so that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you had a great time. I know I sure did. 
leave me a comment down below and let me know which taco do you think would have been your favorite and which one would have been your least favorite. And as always, if you liked this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more content like this, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.